Hello, today we are taking a first look at the KD Caligra Office suit version 4.0 which uses Qt6. This is the blog post. As part of the KD Caligra Office suit, there's a Word processor similar to Microsoft Word sheets, similar to Microsoft Excel stage similar to Microsoft PowerPoint and Carbon is for drawing similar to the LibreOffice draw application. I have installed KDSRC-build which is a build framework from the KD community which allows me to build KD Caligra Office suite directly from the Git master branch. This is uh, Caligra building correctly. And now we're going to start it. We have the following Caligra applications. There's um, Caligra launcher and an application for Caligra words and Caligra stage. Let's see the launcher first. So it's uh, similar to the equivalent application in LibreOffice where um, it's probably called LibreOffice, which then allows you to select the application from the suit that you want to start. So again, this is a word processor. This is the spreadsheet application, this is the presentation application, this is the drawing um, SVG editor. Let's start with uh, the word processor application. This is the first run wizard. We can open a document, let's see the colorful document. There's the option to always start a new Caligra Words documents based on the colorful document uh, template. Inside the footer of the page, we have this OBJ, which looks like an error, and then another one. So these are probably similar to the OLE Microsoft object embedding technology. These are either parts or flakes or key parts was the name of the technology from the KD community or it might be a script the script responsible for instance for computing the page number and uh, we can see from the blog post that um, the KD Caligra Office suite 4.0 has been uh, upgraded from Qt5 to Qt6, from the KD Frameworks 5 to KD Frameworks 6. And um, in the meantime, uh, the um, scripting, which was based on the KD Cross technology, is not available in KD Frameworks 6 and Qt6, and therefore not available in KD Caligra Office 4.0. This is uh, written here, so as part of the port from Qt5 to Qt6. Sheets doesn't have a scripting system, so something similar to the Microsoft VBA, Visual Basic for Applications. Because it was based on the KD Cross, um, KD Framework version 5. I'm not sure if this um, also means that there are there is no Visual Basic um, scripting, so VBA support at all in any of the KD Caligra 4.0 applications. The um, big change, apart from uh, upgrading from Qt5 to Qt6 and from KD Frameworks 5 to KD Frameworks 6, is um, the visual overhaul which is um, the frameless 
theming for uh, Breeze. There are um, single pixel lines um, and straight lines and 90 degrees angles a modern simplified look for uh, group boxes and um, tab bars. This new style can also be seen in the settings window. There's search for settings. Let's create a simple document, file new, and this time we're going to go with a blank document. So this is presenting a page. The page has um, a document um, border in here, this shadow. Let's start writing some text. Let's see if um, there are styles. Title. This guy. Chapter one. Heading one. Okay. Um. This dot doesn't look that great because it's placed under the uppercase C. I make the application use half of the screen, the left half of the screen. And uh, while I move through the tool windows, I get to the tool window shape handling. And this uh, Tool window wants to have a minimum width probably, which tells the Caligra words window to resize. So it now is a bit wider than just half of the screen. It overlaps the Mozilla Firefox window by, I don't know, 10 pixels. So I need to make it use half of the screen again. Right click on the document, doesn't show a context menu for editing the document, the page properties. There's this tool window, page layout, where we can change it. And there's also this button in the status bar, as it were, change the page style standard. This is an edit box which goes to the line. This is an edit box which goes to the specified page number. And this is a combo box. Let's see if it works. It does. Kind of. Fit page width is uh, what you are actually after. And maybe when you're doing print preview, you want to have the exact same size on the screen as on um, paper. So A4 or um, US letter. Let's add some text to the chapters. So this is chapter one. Let's see if um, tables of contents work. References. 
table of contents you know, this type okay so they do work let's put the second chapter on a new page how do we do that insert new page control n So the button for advancing one page is named insert a page break controller return. Press shift for more. Let's press the shift key. There's nothing more there. Okay, it does what we expect. Let's update the table of contents. Do we do that? It uh, updates automatically, which is great. No need to manually right click and then go refresh on it. Okay, this is called the sidebar. This is the equivalent of the Microsoft Word ribbon. It contains all the possible actions. And um, these are individual tabs or tool windows. Let's see if uh, we can use the functionality from the Calligra words main menu help and then find action to see if uh, this makes it easier for us to find the way to insert a page break. And if I search for page, it I can see it in here. It says page break. And I can also see the icon. And then I can find the icon here. Plus the shortcut control return. So if um, the Calligra words version of the ribbon is not that searchable, you can still search it going through the um, help menu and then find action or control a alt i control alt i bold control b okay let's see how we undo there's undo button in the toolbar control z edit undo Invisible formatting characters. So it seems to have all of the features that I actually use. So the feature, the features that I actually use is a new blank document, uh, paragraph style, so style manager for title, for um, chapters, for paragraph or standard table of contents. I want to configure that the page size is A4 or um, US letter, which can probably be done here. It's A4 already. And then um, the mandatory footers and headers, depending on the type of document you want to work with. So headers and footers, mandatory ones might be the page number and um, I don't know, page number on even pages and chapter title on odd pages, for instance. Okay, and then interoperability, uh, the support for opening and saving the two Microsoft Word formats, doc and docx, and uh, the um, openoffice.org and uh, LibreOffice ODT, ODT, Open Document Text. 
and uh, export to PDF. Let's see those. File export as PDF. I'm not sure why it tries to use a different uh, size than the size of the existing pages. Why would you ask if I want orientation portrait? It's already portrait. Okay. A. Image magic. Wow. Interesting application to open a PDF with. This guy. Okay, so export uh, seems really. See, the exported PDF is similar to what I see. What you see is what you get. So, WYSIWYG. In the table of contents, the dots do not exist, so just the underline. Okay, but uh, the same um, dot uh, under behind the uppercase C. Let's see the other applications from the um, Caligra 4.0 suit. We'll go to. I would expect in here to be a way of going to the other applications, so from Caligra words to Caligra stage, for instance. So this forces me to restart the launcher. So let's go with uh, sheets first. No go. Caligra stage. Parties. Hello to the presentation. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how I can fix this. So there's a, I don't know, a text box or what is this thing? And I put too much text in it. I can fix that by making the fonts smaller. How do we do that? But I would expect either to see the borders of this text box such that I can resize it, or maybe a um, smart feature where as you enter more and more text, the font size would shrink. Body. New slide. What am I doing wrong? This is the second slide. This is the list of slides. First and second. What do I have in here? It's empty or not. Okay, so I found my way around. Um, so this is the document, this is the list of slides. I'm going to the first slide and then in the sidebar in the tool windows there's uh, the tabs for slide design, animation, shape handling, shapes and path. 
and I was using the font tool in order to edit the title of the first page. So hello to the presentation title. But I can also select uh, shape handling and that uh, selects the, um, I don't know, the text box or what the sh this shape is. So whenever you select, you need to use the correct selection tool. So this is the selection tool for the drawings, for the, you know, the graphical shapes. And there's also the text cursor where you can edit text. Let's go to the second slide. Let's go to slide design. Let's use two rows. First row. In here, I don't like that the size makes it such that the uh, letter G is cut. Let's start the slide. Left arrow key, right arrow key. Page up, page down, home and escape. Let's look at the actions. In here we have all of the possible actions. It's an easy way to discover all of the possible actions. There's the entire list here. You can filter. Let's see how we start the slideshow. Start presentation from current slide, shift F5. Start presentation from first slide, F5. And uh, there's also things you would not expect in here. Such as, for instance, the all of the fonts installed on my machine and um, font sizes. And the zoom levels. Great functionality to have. So it allows you to see all of the actions, to have an overview all of the of on the shortcuts that are um, assigned to the various actions. And the search functionality is just great. Okay, so it seems to have all of the features that I actually use in. Um, a um, application similar to Microsoft PowerPoint with um, also export to PDF. Let's see that. Not sure why you keep selecting that. B. Image magic again. Let's select. I don't have a color installed apparently. I'm not sure if the export worked correctly there. I would not expect such a thing. So the um, each slide of the slideshow should uh, take a an entire page inside of the PDF exported file. And the final application, the equivalent to 
LibreOffice Draw. We have seen this functionality embedded in the other two applications in um, Caligra Words. There's uh, the tool Windows Draw Path and Connect Shapes and Shape Handling. And probably all of these are provided by the um, component that's uh, used in the Carbon application. Let's see how we do things in here. We can create uh, using the draw path tool. Or using the freehand path. We close the shape. Control Z is ambiguous. I don't know how to close the path. Calligraphy. Let's see what that thing is. So calligraphy says with the mouse or with the a tablet. So we're going to go with mouse. That's all I have. So I'm going to write something very calligraphically. Very calligraphic. I built Calligra Office Suite from um, source, and the executable Calligra Sheets has not been built. That's why the launcher cannot um, start the process. So the launcher, when I click on Calligra Sheets, it just says that could not find an executable named Calligra Sheets. And um, it's Caligra Launcher seems to have the wrong application uh, window icon. So this is it. All of the applications that I could build correctly, which is the launcher, uh, words, stage, and uh, the carbon drawing application work correctly. Uh, I had no crashes, I could export to PDF, I could use the basic functionalities that I use from these uh, applications. The big caveat here is the quality of the filters for importing and exporting uh, from the three standard file formats. The ones from the Microsoft Office Suite and from the LibreOffice Suite. So, good work on uh, the Caligra KD Office Suite. Good work on porting from Qt 5 to Qt 6. Thank you.